Hello friends, welcome to my 30 range YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn Redmi Note 11 Mobile Top 10 Important Tips and Tricks. If you are a new visitor on my YouTube channel, please press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification after publishing my future videos. If you are using Redmi Note 11 Mobile or Redmi Mobile, I think this video is very helpful to you. Ok, now let's start our tip number 1. Let's learn how to capture long screenshot. Normally, we can capture a screenshot by pressing volume down key and power button on same time. Another method is we can set our notification bar after we can press this screenshot button. Another method is we can set our screen like this using our three fingers after the screenshot is captured. In here, we cannot capture a long screenshot. So, I open my mobile settings. In here, I can capture a long screenshot. Now, I press screenshot button. Immediately, you want to press this scroll button. Now, you can see the screenshot is continually capturing. If you want to capture this screenshot manually, you can drag it like this. After press this done button, now you can save it like this. Now, I will tell you how to enable this three fingers screenshot capturing option. To enable this feature, go to your mobile settings. Scroll down this page and go to additional settings option. After click on this gesture shortcuts option. Now, you can see here partial screenshot option. Click on it. You can turn on this press and hold with three fingers option. After, when you set your screen like this using your three fingers, we can capture a screenshot like this. Let's learn how to use applications in floating window. In this floating window method, we can do our works easily. We can run two applications in one time. To use this floating window method, go to your mobile recent apps area. After you can view here floating windows option. Click on it. This is default floating window applications. Now I open calculator. Now I can use my mobile another applications with this calculator. You can move these applications on your screen anywhere like this. You can move this application on your mobile top right corner after the application is going to stable on your mobile right area like this. If you want to exit on this floating window, press and hold this application bottom area and you can swap it like this. You can customize this floating window tab. Click on this edit icon. After you can add your custom applications this floating window menu. Now I add some applications. In this method, you can use these applications without disturbing your mobile other works. Let's learn how to change navigation bar buttons. We can hide this mobile navigation bar buttons and we can get full screen display like this. Let's learn how to do this. Go to your mobile settings. Scroll down this page and go to home screen option. Click on this system navigation option. Now I already enabled this gesture method. So my mobile navigation bar buttons are going to hidden. If we enable this buttons method, we can see the buttons like this. You can change this button position. If you want to change this position, you can disable this mirror buttons option. After the back button is come to left side, recent key button is going to right side. Now let's learn how to enable this gesture method and how to use this method. If we enable this gesture method, we can get professional look to our Redmi Note 11 mobile. If we want to go to home screen, we want to tap bottom to up like this quickly. After we can go to our mobile home screen. If we want to open recent applications, we want to tap from bottom and pause it like this. After we can open recent applications, if we want to go to back, we can tap right or left edge like this. 
Okay, I think now you can use this guest method very easily. In this guest method, another small tip is we can hide this full screen indicator. If you want to hide this indicator, enable this hide full screen indicator option. Now we cannot see any buttons on our Redmi Note 11 mobile bottom area. Personally, I am not like to hide this indicator, so I disable this option. Let's learn how to enable internet speed meter. If we enable this connection speed meter, we can identify how many data we are using. Go to your mobile settings, scroll down this page and go to notification and control center option. Scroll down this page, click on status bar option. You can enable this show connection speed option. After you can view this connection speed meter on your status bar like this. Let's learn how to enable double tap to wake up screen. Go to your mobile settings, click on always on display and lock screen option. In here you can enable this double tap to wake or turn off screen when device is locked option. Okay, now I am going to lock my screen. Now I double tap to my screen like this. Now you can see our screen is going to turn on. If you like this feature, you can enable it. Let's learn how to enable this amazing feature. This is always on display option. When we turn off our screen, after few minutes, we can see this always on display feature. This is very beautiful, amazing feature. Let's learn how to enable this option. Go to your mobile settings. Click on always on display and lock screen option. Click on this always on display option. You can turn on this feature. You can select any theme in here. Now I apply this theme. After I turn off my screen like this. Now you can see the always on display feature is working. This is very beautiful professional feature. If you like this feature, you can turn on this always on display option. Let's learn how to enable one handed mode. If you enable this one handed mode feature, we can use some mobile easily when you are using your mobile using one hand. Go to your mobile settings. Scroll down this page and go to additional settings option. Click on one handed mode option. You can turn on this one handed mode in here. Now I already hide my mobile navigation bar buttons. I am using gesture method because I can get full screen display. In this gesture method, this one handed mode is not working properly. Now I change my mobile navigation bar into buttons method. After let's try this one handed mode. Okay, in this button method, we can enable this one handed mode like this. We can press and hold the home key and we can swap it into recent key. After we can enable this one handed mode. In this navigation bar buttons method, it worked properly. But in gesture method, the one handed mode is not working properly. If you like this one handed mode option, you can enable it. Let's learn how to enable second space mode. We can use two mobile interfaces using the second space mode. I think this is very good feature. For example, we are using more user accounts in our computer or laptops. In this Redmi Note 11 mobile, we can use two user accounts like a computer. Let's learn how to enable this second space mode. Go to mobile settings. Scroll down this page, click on special features option, click on second space option, after click on this turn on second space. Now the second space is creating, click on continue, you can switch this second spaces using a password or using a shortcut. Now I am select using a password and click this continue button. 
in here i can set a password in this first option we want to type our current password now i type my this user account current password okay now this is our new user account so we want to type a different password to this account now i type this pattern you want to type it again to confirm if you like to set your fingerprint to switch this second spaces you can set it now i don't want to set it so i skip this step this is our new user account if i want to switch my first user account i can click on this switch button after i can enter the password or i can use my fingerprint sensor now the mobile is switched to my first user account now i turn off my mobile lock screen now if i want to go to my first user account i can type my first user account password like this after i can open my account original space now again i turn off my mobile screen and i draw my second space created password like this wow now i can move to my another space like this i think this is very good feature in redmi note 11 mobile Let's learn how to enable dual apps. If we enable this dual app feature, we can use two WhatsApp accounts, two Facebook accounts and two applications. Now I already enable two WhatsApp accounts. Let's learn how to do this. Go to your mobile settings, scroll down this page and go to apps option. Click on dual apps option. In here, you can see dual app supported applications. If you want to use this applications as dual mode you can turn on this option. Now let's create two Facebook accounts. Now I click on this Facebook icon. After you can enable this dual apps option. Now Facebook second application is created. Let's see. Okay, this is my second Facebook account. This is my first Facebook account. Now I have two Facebook applications on my mobile. In this method you can enable dual apps without using third party applications. Let's learn how to add app lock to your applications without using third party app lock applications. In this Redmi Note 11 mobile it has default app lock feature. Let's learn how to enable this. Go to your mobile settings. Scroll down this page and go to apps option. Click on this app lock option. Now we want to set up an app lock. Click on turn on. Now you can draw a pattern. You can draw it again to confirm. After click on next button. If you have MI account, you can sign it into here. Now I click not now. In here, you can select the applications you want to add this app lock. Now I am select WhatsApp only after click on use app lock. Now let's open WhatsApp and let's check how it works. Okay, the app lock is enabled. Wow, it's working. Now I am exit on this WhatsApp application and open it again. After you can see the app lock is not appear. Let's fix this issue. Go to mobile app lock area. After click on this settings icon on top right corner. Click on this lock settings option. Enable this second option when device is locked or after exiting app option. Now let's open the WhatsApp account and let's check it again. Okay, now I exit on this application. Again I open WhatsApp. Wow, it's working. In this method, you can add app locks to your mobile applications easily. If you want to add app lock to your mobile gallery or file manager, you can use this app lock feature. I think this is very good feature on Redmi Note 11 mobile. In this video let's learn about Redmi Note 11 mobile top 10 imported tips and tricks. If you are using Redmi Note 11 mobile or Redmi mobile, I think this video is very helpful to you. If you like this video, don't forget to add your comments, add your likes and share this video with your friends. 
If you like to watch more tips and tricks on Redmi Note 11 Mobile and Redmi Mobiles, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. If you want to know any features on this Redmi Note 11 Mobile, add your comments. Have a nice day. Goodbye.